Well, it might always be five o'clock somewhere, but here in the Hoosier State, five o'clock happy hours or any happy hours, well, they're actually illegal. But as Fox 59 Scarlett O'Hara explains, there's now push to change that. Do you ever get off work wanting to have a drink after a long day? Well, you're free to do that in Indiana if you're over 21, but you can't get any special happy hour deals for it. Maybe you're one of the many Hoosiers who, until I told you, didn't know it's illegal to offer discounted alcoholic drinks for specific hours of the day, and that it's been the case for nearly 40 years. I'm very surprised very. that you can't have happy hour, and I think we should definitely change that. Plus, happy hours could be like a good date night type of deal, so that's crazy they don't have it here in Indiana. Yeah. Luckily for like-minded consumers, 5 o'clock could soon get a little happier. The Indiana House Committee on Public Policy discussed a bill that would bring it back and allow retailers to sell alcoholic drinks for carryout in marked, sealed containers. Uh, I think it's exciting, anything that promotes people coming out and having a good time. One restaurant owner we spoke to said happy hour deals could help drive up sales after pandemic, staffing, and inflation struggles. It would help us be a viable business when it's been so challenging over the last few years. That lunch crowd, the crowd that you would see directly after work is still way lower than it was pre-COVID. But some groups like Mental Health America of Indiana argue this could have some unintended consequences. The promotion of discounted alcoholic beverages during happy hours may also disproportionately target vulnerable populations such as those with substance use disorder and may increase alcohol related crimes. Concerns have also been raised about the idea of carry out drinks. If someone leaves, you know, like they get in their car, they can like open it or some start drinking on the way home. So I don't know how good of an idea that is. But Michael Cranfell, owner of the District Tap, says staff members would just have to be as responsible as they normally are. It should be on the, the restaurateur, the bar owner, uh, just like at any other time, is to police that crowd. Make sure no one's getting over served. The Committee on Public Policy voted in favor of the bill 12 to 1, and it'll now head to the full house for consideration. Reporting downtown, Scarlett O'Hara, Fox 59 News.